And welcome back to more NFL draft coverage as we get set for the NFL draft this weekend. Uh, right now, we want to turn to Mr. Ohio football back in 2005. Delon Carter is standing by in the kitchen in Copley. Are you in Copley or are you in Akron tonight? I'm in Akron, Ohio. You're in Akron. Yes, I but you're a proud Cop Copley alum, right? Yes, absolutely. All right, what's cooking in the kitchen first before we start this interview? What do you got going on back there? Anything good? Uh it's, it's nothing right now. It's slow motion in the kitchen. Just enjoying time with the family. Sounds good. Hey, let's talk about the NFL draft. What do you think you bring to an NFL team? You know, uh, a lot of coaches that I've talked with and uh, a lot of people that evaluated my game say I run well behind my shoulder pads and, uh, you know, the toughness that, that the game uh, that, that the game is kind of lacking. That running back running between the tackles, I do very well, and that's what they're looking for, and that's what uh, sparks their interest in me. What teams have you worked out for, and, and what workouts do you think went very well? I worked out for Cincinnati, the Patriots, took visits to uh, both places, took visits to uh, San Fran and New Orleans, and uh, I watched film, studied, and uh, everything went well. It, were you a Browns fan growing up? Is it, would that be your team, or did you have a different team growing up? I just studied the game. You know, I watched uh, every team, evaluated running backs, since I was little, so I mean, I just love the play of football and the aggressive nature of the game, and just to go out there and to compete. Was there a guy you looked up to that maybe you idolized a little bit? Oh, I have a number of them. You know, Barry Sanders, Terrell Davis, Walter Payton, Jim Brown. I mean, the list goes on and on. Tell me about your experience at Syracuse and how that has made you ready for the NFL. You know, just going to a program that wasn't already established and going in there and helping getting it back to where it was and winning a bowl game in the right Bowl this past season. And, uh, you know, having the tradition of running backs that came through Syracuse University and uh, achieving my uh, degree this past December, all of that matured me and uh, I feel uh, prepared me for this next level and this next step in life. Yeah, when you walk through the halls of Syracuse knowing that you're a running back and knowing the great running backs that have gone through there, is that a sense of inspiration when you play there? Absolutely. You know, I've beating uh, you know some of the greats on the wrestling list and just to have my name mentioned with those is very inspiring and uh, it just makes me want to do the same thing on the next level. Did you ever get to spend any time with Jim Brown or talk to him? I met him coming out of high school actually when I won Mr. Ohio here in Akron and uh, you know uh, he gave me some words of wisdom and I took him on to Syracuse and I'm going to carry him with me to the next level. How, how impressed were you when you had met him after you left Copley and, and you know the greatest of all time? It's just, you know, exactly. You're, you're sitting there talking with one of the greatest running backs of all time. And just to uh, see him in your presence and see how humble he is and him to take the time out to give you some words of wisdom, you know, was a blessing. And I, and I value the opportunity to get to do that. If you had your, if you got to pick the play every time coming out of the huddle, would you rather be handed off the ball or would you rather have the quarterback throw you a little pass? Because you're successful on both ends of that. Yes, but uh, I mean, I, I'd rather him give it right to me and let me take on 11 defenders. Do you enjoy, though, being able to be a good running back that's able to catch the ball? Is that something you take pride in? Absolutely. You know, you have to be faster than both sides of the, of the game. You know, you got to be able to catch and run. You know, you can't be one-dimensional in the NFL, and I pride myself in being able to do both. How about your ability to block? How do you feel about that? I feel very great about that. You know, I'm very strong, and... uh I'm willing to, you know, take a linebacker down the A-gap anytime or even take on a defensive end. So, you know, it's all part of the game. Can you just uh, quickly, as we wrap things up, I mean, there's such a great tradition of guys out of Northeast Ohio that have been able to make it to the pros. And for you to be a part of that and have your name, you know, we're, we're talking about, you know, first, second day, early third day of the draft. You know, how does that make you feel and, and, and to be a part of the great tradition here in Northeast Ohio? You know, I mean, it's just uh, just another one to show that's coming from this Akron, Ohio area, and, uh, you know, many more can do it. And we, I just want to give back to my community when I can and show, you know, the youth in this community that anything is possible with God on your side. All right, we appreciate your time, and we wish you the best of luck, and we're looking forward to seeing you in your new uniform come sometime as early as Friday, we're hoping. I hope it happens on Thursday night for you, but we're hoping that it happens sometime this weekend, and we're looking forward to talking to you in your first day as a professional football player in the NFL. Thanks.